I am obsessed. Not a win for me. If I could go back, I wouldn't buy it. So for this next dress, definitely a gamble and I knew it wasn't gonna be good, but I was just like, it would be an interesting test for this video. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a super exciting video. We're going to test a different affordable dresses that I found off of Amazon. I feel like it's such a gamble shopping off of Amazon because you have all these different sellers, oftentimes selling things that aren't very good quality or they're just drop shipping and amplifying the price. Sometimes you get items that aren't exactly as described or they're just like built weirdly, the measurements are off. So I thought it would be interesting to get some trendy affordable dresses and test them out for you guys. And it's less of a gamble for you. That way, if you like something, you can feel free to buy it and know that it's decently good, at least based off of my review. If you do like any of the dresses that I show you today, definitely all of them will be linked in the description. And that's gonna take you to my Amazon storefront where I have a list for this specific YouTube video. Now. We all know shopping at Amazon isn't necessarily the most like sustainable option out there. So I definitely think there's a time and place. If you are someone who needs something more affordable, then this is a great option for you. And of course, anytime you buy clothing, I think it's a good idea to be mindful of how often you're going to wear that item. Just in an effort to be less wasteful. So with that little intro and disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and try on some of these dresses and we'll see if they're wins or fails. Let's go ahead and get into it. Here are my measurements on the screen for your reference. And of course, as always, they will be in the description box below. So for the first dress that I decided to purchase, we have this little purple number, very spring and Y2K vibes and definitely very trendy. Of course, we'll have the info on the screen, but this is the brand Lea Jado. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. I got this dress in a size medium. Overall, the reviews are 2.8 stars. When it comes to a listing like this one, where they're listing several different dresses, the reviews are for the whole listing, not just that specific item. All the reviews posted here were for other dresses in the same listing, so a little deceiving, and definitely there was no firm of reference for this one. We'll go ahead and give that review here. So this dress retails for $15.99, and the shipping was actually like $7, so it came out to like $23, which is kind of steep because this is fully polyester from first impression, grabbing it, it definitely is giving low quality. I mean, when you look at the fabric, it's honestly just very thin and everything is just one lining. Didn't expect much with the price point that was offered. There is a zipper in the back as well as the strings. The zipper does work, thank God. It's just a little bit thinner. I don't actually see any issues with the stitching. It's done decently well. You do have adjustable straps. They're very, very thin as you can see. And then of course it does flare out into an A-line shape with ripples at the bottom. Here is what the print looks like. So cute. Kind of got like some details of a corset but of course there's no corset here it's literally one sheet of fabric i do like the color i love purple and i do like the print it's very cute and the shape is very trendy even if it doesn't have a lot of boning or a lot of structure to it all in all it looks really cute let's go ahead and try it on and see how it fits i am obsessed <laughs> guys, this is such a cute dress. Let me actually lower you guys a little bit. <laughs> You're a little too high, but that's all right. But I don't know. It's so cute. Absolutely here for it. So again, I got this dress in a size medium going into like the top area. You do have this kind of sweetheart neckline, which I find super flattering. And of course the little ruffles just adds a little pizzazz to the outfit. And in the back, you can see slightly open back concept. Straps get a little bit thinner over here and they are adjustable thankfully and you do have a little tie here which actually does tie in the waist area of course there's no like corset or tummy controlling aspect here but if you want something that just really hugs your waist this dress is definitely it the ties help it to get pushed together the skirt is just adorable definitely got that flow factor and it is flowing out even if you're not spinning which I love because it just really helps the silhouette this is what it looks like in the back very cute I am also five foot eight and I find that this this dress is long enough for me, even though it is a midi dress. It goes to about mid quad, mid thigh. I will say if I bend over, it gets a little bit risque. So definitely wear like shorts with this, which is what I always do when I wear dresses in public. With the chest area, it is a little bit small. I am a 32 double D, so it does fit. I do think it looks flattering, but if you have a bigger chest than me, you may want to avoid this dress because I do see like a little bit of poking out side boob wise and profile wise, it does spill just a little bit. And I can only imagine if your chest is bigger, that it would spill out even more. But honestly, it does feel thin. It doesn't feel like it's good quality. But visually, I think people can tell it is supposed to be just like a summer dress, very casual 
cool but girly vibes and it doesn't look like it's falling apart or anything so I definitely really recommend this dress. Only wouldn't recommend it if you have a bigger chest than me or if you're taller than me. For the next dress, we have this blue Cinderella vibe number and it's got like the trendy wavy trimming, which is so adorable. This dress is from Shy Velvet. I did get this in a size medium, pretty much my standard size. The price of this dress is a little bit more. It's $39.99. You do get free shipping and the material is actually made out of linen and cotton. Definitely a thousand times better than polyester. Let's peer into the reviews to see if anyone reviewed this specific dress. So this dress actually has 4.3 stars and it does have other dresses in the listing but they're all the same exact dress just a different color we got decently good ratings so far alexa says it feels expensive miranda gave it a four stars because she said the straps were sewn on a bit askew so we'll definitely check for that but she did like the aesthetic of the dress and the twirl and four says it's tall girl friendly and then there's adorable nice dress lovely dress cute dress so all the reviews are like really good there are two bad reviews caitlin gave it a two stars and said that they ordered their usual size and it was too small lauren said the ruffles don't stay flat and it wrinkles pretty easily that is after washing the dress overall really excited for this dress let's kind of go into some of its features here is that awesome trim that this dress has and of course you have the trim for the straps the straps are adjustable here which is nice it's hard to show but you do actually have two linings so you have the top lining then a different material below it i love that it's double lined it's already better quality than the last one back you do have that stretchy material just to help make it more adjustable you do have a couple of seams running down in the center I'm sure to help contour it. The bottom of the dress does flare out slightly to give that a-line shape. I don't see any issues with the sewing. I do think that one review may have a point since the trim is sewn at the bottom and the top is kind of free and loose but as it is right now it looks perfectly fine so let's go ahead and try this one on. I'm super excited for this one. Da -da -da -da. Here we got the next dress. So cute, very trendy and definitely like an eye catcher in my opinion just because it's a little different than what I usually see walking around town let's just go ahead and get into it of course here's like the top section you do have slightly a short bust line here i can already feel like my bust slightly going underneath i'm not wearing a bra i never wear bras with dresses this is just kind of like what it could look like if you have my chest size i feel like if i did wear a bra it would definitely like fill this out more and it would look more awkward here is the back pretty standard spaghetti strap vibe these straps although they do have the design i don't find them to be uncomfortable in any way and of course it helps that they're adjustable. There is absolutely nothing to cinch in this part other than just like the structure of the dress. So this is just how naturally it cinches. Have that natural flow out here with the trim at the bottom. So very cute vibes. I really like it. I can see myself like going to a little tea luncheon with the girls in this. Lengthwise, this is actually longer than the purple mini dress. So I would say it's more tall girl friendly. If you are taller than me, I'm 5'8". Definitely think this dress will still suit you. Also lengthwise, it just goes a little past mid thigh, but it doesn't hit the knee by any means. Of course, twirling is a must when you wear dresses like this. Definitely feel more safe to twirl in this one without flashing. If I do a bend, I actually don't show anything. Very secure in this dress. The fabric just feels really nice. I love linen and cotton, and so a linen cotton blend is totally good with me. And because it is linen, it does tend to wrinkle. So the reviewer is right about that, but you just have to make sure you are seaming it or ironing it, and it should be totally fine. A hundred percent, I definitely recommend this one. Next up, we have a yellow number. Girl, there is nothing better than a nice yellow dress in the summer. It's just like immaculate vibes, whether you have brunette hair, red hair, blonde hair, colored blue hair with this. Oh my God, imagine, that would be a dream. I love yellow and I just feel like yellow and summer dresses are two peas in a pod, you know what I mean? So excited for this one. It looks really cute on the website. This dress is from Coco Day. As with most affordable dresses on Amazon, this is a listing with multiple dresses, but it looks like for this one, it's the exact same dress. It's just in different colors. So the review for this dress is 4.7 stars, which is pretty good. And the price for this dress is $18.99, but there is a $7 delivery charge. So it does kind of even out to about $25. Unfortunately, this is also 100% polyester 
here. So get what you pay for. As usual, let's take a peek at the reviews. It looks like there's only two reviews. One said it's great and it's good for taller girls, great quality. And then Stasia also said it fits pretty much as expected. Thin, but not bad quality, a little darker than the color they were going for. Looking at this dress, I will say that the color is slightly darker than I thought it would be from the picture. And the material feels very thin. So that is something to note. It does have like a mesh lining over the main lining obviously not adjustable straps it's just the form of the dress and then it does go all the way down and as you can see it has the ruffles in the bottom it's giving bell my biggest disappointment with this dress off the rack is the quality of some of the seams if you can see there are some seams peeking out you do have the zipper on the side it is that standard cheap tiny zipper and there's just like other parts you can see there's more seams sticking out the seams itself seem to be a little less organized and clean. This dress is definitely not giving quality or expensive. <laughs> Aesthetics are cute, so I am excited to try it on and see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and put it on. Here is the yellow number, and it's really cute and it's almost a win, but not quite, and I'll definitely go into that. This is the front, and you do have a little thigh slit here with some ruffles, and the ruffles actually go all the way to the bottom, almost to the floor. This is what it looks like with the back, pretty standard, nothing crazy. Over here so let's just go right into it with the top it was almost a win one this dress is a little too big for me i definitely could have sized down so if you're in between like i am size down i actually had to put in some bust pads from a buff bunny bra that i have because this material is so so thin that you are nipping even if it's not cold to prevent that definitely put that just right under the top part there's literally nothing for a bra pad it's just under the dress keep that in mind i feel like you could wear just a standard bra with this and it would be okay with the straps but for me i definitely I can't wear this dress without anything underneath. And with that, the bust pads are yellow and you definitely can still see them. So it's not like an efficient way to solve the problem. Nip covers, the stickers, you would still see those. I also noticed that this lining where the bust is supposed to be outlined does tend to ride up. So not super big chest friendly. The main thing that I don't like with this dress is it's so thin that even here, it does kind of highlight my lower stomach region. For me, I just like personally, this is something I'm more self-conscious about. So if you are also self-conscious about that, like me, steer clear from this dress. Other than that, not a win for me. If I could go back, I wouldn't buy it. We will find some use for this. We'll just have to do some research on what to wear underneath. <laughs> So for this next dress, it was really definitely a gamble and I knew it wasn't gonna be good, but I was just like, it would be an interesting test for this video. And as expected, got it in, not great first impressions, but let's, let's just go ahead and show her real quick. This is this is her, she's giving napkin, but you know, the aesthetics and pictures were cute. Wanted to give it a chance, let's just get into it. So this seller is Lordry, and I did get this dress in a medium as well. This listing is rated 3.8 stars, not very good. Of of course, this listing has multiple other dresses in it, so we'll have to see if there are any reviews for this particular item. And it was actually $12.49, definitely one of the cheaper options, but again, $7 shipping. They really get you with the shipping part. This is also, of course, 100% polyester, but let's read some reviews and then uh, we'll get into it. Alrighty, so this dress is listed as the eat blue one, and there is actually a review. Selena actually recommends it. She said it was a great size, good material, and pretty. The height is perfect, and there's some wiggle room. So far, it doesn't feel worth the $20. 20 bucks despite what that review says. This dress is actually, I looked it up online, I did like a Google reverse search and it's actually a dress that is on other websites that I believe I would assume is better quality and this is I guess a dupe for it. It's definitely the cheap version of that dress. Here you can see this is a very very thin material. It is like double lined here but only with like a mesh fabric and then you just have a single fabric here no double lining. This is the inside of the dress. You can just see the seams are very messy and it's definitely giving like that patchwork style but like not in a good quality kind of way. The threading is definitely fraying in some places as well. You do have of course that plunge so we'll see how that actually fits on my body. Of course you have the bottom of the dress which is like an interesting little asymmetrical cut at the bottom but the biggest like, contention I have with this dress is the straps. So this is the front and I'm flipping it to the back with the open back and these straps are all twisted and weird and I have tried to straighten it out like maybe it's just a thin fabric so it's like curling on itself but it's not possible to straighten it out i'm gonna try it on still and see if it looks cute and of course i bought it so i'm gonna keep it i'll probably wear it like maybe around the house just as like a nightgown because it's a very thin material but without further ado let's try this disappointment on and see if it becomes maybe a little bit better 
I have low hopes, but you never know, you know? Oh God, this dress is so cringy. Well, here it is. It's here, she's, she's on the body, you know, we're working with it. Sorry about the sun. Like cute vibe, right? Like overall, I love the idea of it. We'll definitely buy it from probably the actual website with the people who actually make this dress. It just looks very fairy-like and I'm obsessed with that. But this specific dress from Amazon is a no-go for me, honey. First, this material is very thin, not well-structured. So if you're looking for your dress to like shape you in any way, like this doesn't really do a lot of that. Even with the waist, there's a seam here and a seam here. And it's like slightly rotating this way with the seams. It's not like straightened. And then when I try to move it, eventually it just moves back to that position. The worst part though is the chest. Like honestly, I could forgive a lot about this dress because I don't mind wearing low quality stuff sometimes, but the chest is just like undoable. So again, not wearing a bra, but this part is very, very cheaply made. There's zero support. It also just like doesn't fit right because of the twist on these straps that are not able to be changed. We try to untwist it and it just keeps twisting worse. It's just not doable at all. Moving on towards like the bottom of the dress. This is where it ends. Love the different vibes at the bottom, like this sort of asymmetrical look. It goes a little past the mid thigh, so I think it is toggle friendly. Let's do a bend test, bend and snap. It's definitely a little risque. Wear shorts underneath if you choose to wear this dress and you're a little taller. And if you're taller than me, I would skip this all together. I mean, I think everyone should skip this all together, but if you're tempted, but you're taller, you definitely like double skip you know here we have the back it is an open back which is like a beautiful concept definitely flattering if you didn't have the messed up straps and the other thing is like the straps are wide and i constantly have to pull them up which is just so not ideal so uncomfortable can't wait to get this off but hope you enjoyed that let's just move on to the next one Next, we have a little asymmetrical one shoulder moment and it's such a cute dress, definitely giving spring. So this dress is from BTFBM and it actually does have that brand as a tag. So slightly promising. This listing has multiple dresses, but they're all the same type, just different colors and patterns. The reviews are more accurate. It's actually 4.4 stars. I got this, of course, in the usual size medium for my dresses and it is listed kind of pricey. It's $44.99, but it does have free delivery. Unfortunately, this is made out of 100% polyester. $45 for something made out of polyester isn't ideal. Let's take a look at some of the reviews and see what other people think. Jennifer says it fits perfectly. Um, they do have a larger chest and the top fit great. There are definitely a lot of reviews for this one. Maria actually said not for me. They said that the fabric was great and they liked the pattern, but the fit was too tight and their usual size is a medium. And other people said it's just like too frumpy. Lots of reviews for this dress and most seem to be pretty positive. Going into to this dress. Of course, you can see it's one shoulder. You do have like a little bow tie here. You could actually take this tie off. It's just like an extra accessory. It's not a adjustable tie strap. Then the top, it does look a little frumpy. Like just looking at it, it's definitely not meant to be skin tight or anything. It does go into a little cinch right here. And then that goes out into these ruffles at the bottom. Very pretty detail. And of course you do have a little tie here as well, which I'm sure helps cinch it in. So it looks less frumpy. It does give better quality when you first initially look at it, but I will say there are some threading issues here that I see. There's some loose thread here as well as up here. Just a lot of the stitching is very messy, not very good, especially for a dress that's 45 bucks. I would expect way more. I haven't even put this through a wash, so God knows what'll happen then. That is a little disappointing. The dress itself is cute, so let's just try it on and see what it looks like, and of course y'all can make your own judgments. So here was the dress. We got another mini one and it does go to mid calf. It does feel really thin. I'm not going to lie. The fabric does not feel like it's good quality, which I didn't really expect. I like the design theoretically, but I think that reviewer is kind of right about like the frumpy comment. Armhole is a little tight on my lats and then all of this is just very like loose, just not super structured. There is definitely enough room if you have a bigger chest. It does tie here and then to the front to help cinch it in. 
I do find myself adjusting this dress a lot. It tends to like want to ride up. And this is what it looks like when it isn't tied. It's a little odd, like this is tied towards the front and this is tied more towards the back. So it feels like not symmetrical. So the structure of this dress is slightly off in my opinion. It's not really something you would notice if you saw someone wearing this dress, but it is the thing I noticed putting it on and just being very picky about my clothes. I love the pattern and the color. It's so cute. It's definitely a vibe, especially with my hair color, I feel. But I will say this dress is not a 100% win for me. I do still recommend it if you like the aesthetic. It's not a bad dress. The length of this dress is pretty comparable to the blue mini dress I tried on, but let's do a bend test. Yep, you can bend and you won't be really flashing anything. So still tall girl friendly and bigger chest friendly. So I definitely recommend in those aspects. Probably give this dress like a solid six out of 10. <laughs> not too bad. I definitely will wear it. I did buy it and I think it'd be cute even like for a wedding. Other than that, it's not gonna be my go-to dress, you know? The next dress, I am so excited about this one because it's that trendy milk made dress vibe. But here we have her in her glory. Of course, the camera's kind of like widening out the pattern. Just a beautiful pink and yellow and purple, very spring vibe. And I just thought this would be so cute for the summer. This dress is from the G L N E G E store. Don't know how that's pronounced. And again, this is one of those listings that have multiple dresses, but they all appear to be the exact same kind, just different patterns. It was rated 4.1 stars, which is decently good. This dress actually doesn't have small, medium, or large. It's the number of sizing, and I got the one that is size 4-6. So this dress is $53.99, which is kind of steep. I'm not going to lie for an affordable dress because the material is also polyester spandex, and that's not considered a good quality material. I think it's just racked up because this is like a really trending style right now, especially on TikTok. I will say by looking at this dress, if you wore it, no one would be like, that's a cheap dress. It definitely gives off quality vibes. So let's look at some of those reviews and see what people think. BM says, that it's waist snatching magic, which is exciting because this is supposed to be like a milkmaid dress. So you definitely need some sort of waist snatching element there. Marcia says it's a beautiful corset dress, very feminine, very pretty, gorgeous, more really good reviews. Emma gave it a three out of five stars and said that it was cute, but not flattering for busty girls. It looks like they have a D cup chest. I do have double Ds. It'll be interesting to see if I agree and whether they fit. Others say it's a really good dupe for the CB dress, which is trendy. Ooh, we'll see. So again, this is like a milkmaid corset style dress. You do have these straps here, which aren't super spaghetti, but still pretty thin and they are adjustable, just your standard adjustment. At the top, you do have this cute little tie here, which does fully untie. You can see on the inside, you do have like kind of that ruching seam here, which should be pretty flattering. In the back of the dress, you do have this lace up feature with the tie. And I'm assuming when you tighten this, yep, it looks like it tightens the fabric as well. They say this is like a corset style dress. I will say there is some boning right here. It's pretty thin boning, but it is there. The strings here, like I said, are tieable, but it doesn't actually tighten any part of this. Not a drawstring effect. The fabric is double lined throughout. It definitely adds a quality aspect to it. And then of course you do have this zipper on the side and it's like every other dress in this all just a very thin cheap zipper. I don't see any issues with any of the seams. Structure wise, this dress was made very well. Of course, very long dress. It is a mini dress goes to about your shins. I did look at the tag it does say it's a medium not a like 426 but i'm sure with the listing they're just insinuating that that's the medium size i don't know why they didn't just list it as a medium but that's pretty much all my observations i'm excited to try this one on so let's go ahead and do just that here we have the dress and so far so good I'm really excited all i did was zip it up i haven't tightened it or anything like that this is where you would actually tighten it to get that corset effect we'll grab the strings and we'll just Definitely feels a little compressive, but not in a, I'm gonna pass out kind of way. Go ahead and tie that off. And this is what it looks like in the back. I think a size medium fits really well. I'm in between a small and a medium. So I definitely recommend sizing up if you're in between. Otherwise you could probably stick with your true size because this part is pretty adjustable and the rest just layers out. It is mini, so it goes to the middle of your shin. At least for me, I'm five foot eight. There is a little bit of a slit here. It's not as dramatic as the yellow dress though. Of course you have the top, so very cute like romantic vibes it's giving almost renaissance and it for sure goes with that milkmaid trendy style that's going on right now i am a 32 double d and i feel like this bust area actually fits me really nicely compared to the reviews there was one review where they said this would not work if you have a smaller bust and i do have to agree with that there's just all this like extra fabric here that really requires like a chest to fill out strap wise i'm glad these aren't spaghetti straps because it's definitely holding the chest up it is adjustable i haven't adjusted it but if you need to 
into that's there for the midsection which is what this dress is popular for i do feel like the slight boning here and it's still a little flexible so it's not super restrictive like an actual corset so it doesn't go super low so my lower belly is still like out underneath i don't mind because the skirt like kind of flares out and hides that that one review i think mentioned that they didn't like how it looked so just keep that in mind for yourself and then of course the little twirl very twirl and bend friendly since it's midi. Got the little light headed there. This is honestly probably my favorite dress of the haul, I have to say. Of course, it was one of the more expensive options out of this haul, but I do think it's worth it. Man, this is a win. <laughs> I am obsessed. So that was the last dress. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you got some good intel on some of these affordable Amazon dresses. Again, I will link the shopping list from Amazon down below if you wanna buy any of these dresses. They can all be found on that item list and it does help my storefront out. If you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. Feel free to join the family. We would love to have you. And if you do like this video, feel free to hit that like button if you feel inclined to. It does help push this channel out to more people and we post every other Sunday here on fashion and beauty so join the girlies it's a good time it was so fun trying out these dresses and sharing my feedback and I'm just really excited for the next video I will see you guys in that one thank you for watching bye